So what do the valve the heart disease guidelines say with respect to aortic stenosis? Well, first of all, in low flow, low grade in aortic stenosis, you do not require to perform a dobutamine stress echo anymore. CT is equally important. If you perform calcium scoring, you can establish the diagnosis. What does that mean for a dobutamine stress echo? Well, you can still perform it. You can look at contractile reserve, but on the other side, the guidelines state that you can still or you should still perform surgery even if contractile reserve is not present. So my feeling is that dobutamine stress echo has lost a lot of its importance. What about asymptomatic severe aortic stenosis? Well, there's a 2B indication now if you have certain criteria met, such as very severe form of aortic stenosis with velocity of more than 5.5 meters and a mean gradient above 60 millimeters mercury. If there is a rapid progression, if patients have an abnormal exercise response, if the BMP values are very high, and if ejection fraction is borderline. And finally, the age for TAVR versus SAVR is now 70 and not 75 anymore. This is based on more long-term data and a special dedicated study which showed that patients with TAVR perform favorably, if not even better, compared to SAVR. My next post will be on mitral regurgitation, so stay tuned. By the way, if you want to keep up with the guidelines, we have a special teaching product for you.